Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan. So today, I'm going to be reacting to BTS's Mama Hong Kong performance. And I heard so much that what had happened in on Twitter. And I'm not ready. I might be emotional. I don't know. I have something to say afterwards. I don't mind. My little brother's in back. He's playing games. So yeah, we are going to watch this. Ready, set, go. Art. Literally art. It's just like the fake love teaser with the magic shop thing. Is this a cafe? Oh. Ah. What is this? Fuck it up, Jimin. Fuck it up. Yo! Oh! Ah! Is this soap? Ah! Can wait. Is that Chongo? That's no. That's Yungi. Is this, is this gonna trans transition into airplane part two? Ooh, the rope. The contrast. Okay, Jean. <sighs> what are they so fine for? Who asked? Is Shongo gonna pop up from the behind? I knew it. He's the, he's gonna pop up from behind the red curtain. I just know it. I gotta watch this Yungi and Hoso part again. Oh my god, they're out here dancing. Oh, I can relate to Yungi though because I am not flexible at all. Not at how there's a whole runway. And Jungkook is watching it. He's walking it. Ah! <laughs> Bitch, what is this piano arrangement? I love the guitar. Come on, bad bitch. Oh, come on. Come on, like band. Y'all know, if y'all did not know, I live for the, a live band, okay? Okay, um, BTS, why did we not get a live band version of Airplane Part 2 at the Love Yourself Tour? I need answers. Come on. Uh. Oh, Jin. Is that what we're going to do now? Come on, I love this arrangement. Thank you. Uh, uh. Come on, Dance King. <sighs> He's so boring. Come on, take. 
keep looking at the back. I see June sitting there. Okay, I need to hear more of the mic, but I still like the ring of it. Okay, I want to hear more of their voices other than the music. I want to hear an even balance, okay? Okay. Jungle, you better stop. Oh, I love that performance. I just wish their mics were a little bit louder. But it's... Intro of Are You Late To? Remix? We're taking it back? Okay, let's go, King. Ginger boy, cheap. Okay, we add more English. Fake what? And I'm sick of this fake love. Ah! Fake love. This fake love. Okay. He's sitting in the chair. What am I doing? I look ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you. Are they all dying? What's going on? Come on, emotion. Hey, tell me why Idol is six minutes long. Huh? Okay. June. Uh. Oh, his voice. Okay, the screen opening. Hold up. Best ace of the year. Oh, there's a BTS of the year. Okay.
Yes, bitch. Give it to me. Oh my god. Their outfits. Forehead. Too much forehead. Blue velvet. Shoe dance. No, what I am. Hey, what I was. I wish I was there, you know. I'm never going to take... Ooh, Tay and the Red. Again, what's the camera work? Terrible camera work. Okay, Jimmy, you better close the top of your shirt, please. Close, button it up. If there is any buttons. Oh, okay. oh my god, if him is not a red suit, I will be in a red suit very soon. I do my thing, I do my thing. Come on, walk down the runway. The mics need to do better. Maybe the mics were good in the building, and there's just the way they broadcast it wasn't it, but you know, whatever. They're still killing it. <laughs> the girl in the blanket. Come on, Jin. Okay. Okay, come on, dancers. Booked and busy. Oh, come on, can't. Oh. Oh, he's so flexible. Uh, I know the dance, but I don't know the dance. Okay. Okay, the guy in the dreads, no. Come on! Can you see... Did, did you see Jin singing? Okay. We out of rave. Y'all never catch me at a rainbow. Sorry. Hong Kong. Hong Kong will get their concert in like a couple months. I wish I was going. He needs to, but he's killing it. Oh my god. Okay. Hey! Oh my god. You're killing it.
recorded myself reacting to BTS' speech, but it's kind of pointless because it's just me staring at the being being all up in my feelings. I'm just gonna say my thoughts right now. Uh, I really can't believe you wouldn't really think that BTS thought about disbanding the beginning of the year, but they really renewed their contracts for us. And I really can't imagine my year my 2018 going by without bts i feel like they made my my years i was so happy this year i like literally went through it with them they they've helped me so much i mean when bts came into my life my life was pretty much like empty i had nothing to look forward to it wasn't necessarily sad it was just there was like literally nothing but they came into my life and filled this this happiness that I haven't gotten in like a, a while and the fact that who knew like what who knows what happens behind closed doors like can't believe they actually thought can you imagine like them disbanding like as selfish as I'm gonna say is I'm pretty sure a lot of armies feel this way but as much as, as selfish as that is I feel like I depend so much of my happiness on BTS like way too much of my happiness which honestly you should never def you should never depend your depend on BTS for your happiness because they they don't know who you are I mean they they'll they'll know who armies are obviously but they don't know they don't know who I am but at the same time it's like no they they're the reason for my happiness they're the reason that get me going and I'm so grateful, I'm so, so grateful that BTS renewed seven more years and counting, I'm sure. I know all this is temporary, but they really renewed because of us. Like, I can't even imagine how much pressure mentally and physically that they have been within the past year or so because of their rise to success. They've become so much more successful and it can take such a toll on them you know just thinking about how i'm just i can only imagine how they're they think oh how can we top themselves but that's a lot of that's a lot especially being you know having you know the fans and everything that's a lot to deal with like millions and millions of fans and their rise to popularity it's just it's insane and i'm so so grateful for bts for staying together as selfish as it may sound i'm just i will never take their love for granted ever i would never ever take their love for granted like if they need to go take a vacation they need to go take a vacation because they work way too hard and like i said fuck all the antis for saying that bts be for B, saying that bts are manipulating us for for the fuck what do y'all hate rib bts that much like, they're not pity. They're not trying to cause pity. Part. Those, those are their fucking feelings, okay? Because your fave is not there. Because your faves don't feel the same way about you guys. Anyways. But yeah, I'm going to cut my reaction part to the speech because I did not cry. I mean, it takes, believe it or not, it takes a lot for me to cry. But I'm just fairly emotional. I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm so, so grateful for BTS's existence. I want to say thank you for getting me through life. I mean, right now, I'm trying to, like, transition to, like, getting this new job. And I'm just... So, they're, they've taught me so much more on loving yourselves, even though sometimes we don't even love ourselves that much. And we're just... I'm so, so grateful. And I'm going to stop it here before I keep rambling. Stand easy as I'm so grateful for them for even, you know, staying together. I'm just, we love them. I love them. They love us. I'm, I appreciate it so much. I, I know it sounds selfish, but like literally a lot of their ha my happiness comes from them as of late. Because without them, I would feel so lonely. I wouldn't have met so many wonderful people in my life. And... I've met, like, literally, like, I don't have, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't have that many friends. I don't talk to or I'm not close to a lot of friends where I live right now. A lot of my friends live, you know, five hours away, four hours away. Um, or, like, in the other side, 
of, you know, the U.S. or even some from other parts of the states of the world, too. And so many mutuals. And I met so many wonderful people. And I'm just, it's all because of BTS. And I'm so thankful for that. And literally, I would be lonely without BTS. Like, they've literally got me through my, the, the end of, like, my, like, teen years. Like, 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 I don't, like, end of your teen years, even though I was already, like, 18 when I started standing, officially standing BTS, even though I knew, knew them for a while. But, um, yeah, they literally got me through the end of, like, my teen years and then on to being 20 years old. And thank you. Thank you. And just seven more years and even more. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my social medias down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. I'm sorry for this long ass video. It's me getting all sentimental and shit again. Army trash. But no, this. do you think this is a game? No, it's not a game, okay? This is like, it, they're my happiness, okay? They literally got me, helped me through so much. And yeah, bye.